Welcome. Hi, I'm Andrea, and today we're going to go over how to start doing a goblet squat. I am using a small kettlebell. This is a 10 pounder. And when we're working on our form, it's best to start small. I'm going to hold my kettlebell upside down and cradle it like it's a goblet, right? So holding it as if it's a goblet. I'm going to turn to the side. And what do we want to do is hinge at the hips and send our hips back. And you should be able to wiggle your toes a little bit. So I'm looking straight over my kettlebell. My shoulders are gently squeezed together. And as I come down, I'm just going to come to the point that feels comfortable, whether it's my knees, my hips, whatever it is that's stopping you, just start in a range that feels comfortable. So you hinge at the hips so that your knees are perpendicular to the floor, not forward. And I'm looking forward, chin up, and then push through the heels as you return to standing. And you can stand up nice and tall here. Fingers are loose. So again, cradle your dumbbell or your kettlebell. Take a breath in, let it out. And then as you lower down, wiggle your toes and then push through your heels and exhale as you lift. So down. My back position is not locked or rounded. So I'm somewhere in between. So I'm in a neutral spine as you head down and lift up, head down and lift up. And then as you get more comfortable with your form and you can go deeper, you can also increase the weight of your goblet. Enjoy.